Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to another Spiritual Love Jones general energy reading for my beautiful divine feminists out there, girl. Hey. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the reading. Y'all know how we do over here. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and jump right in and see what spirit got for y'all. Remember, this is general, so take what resonates. And if it is not, leave that shit where it's at, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to read from... The deck I recently just made for y'all. Actually, I started making this deck, but I'm not like done yet. I feel like I need to add a little bit more something to it, but I might pull from this one. I don't know. It just depends on what I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump right in and see what Spirit got for y'all. Spirit, what do you have for my beautiful divine feminine? What do you have for my beautiful divine feminine? Y'all, this candle making me a little nervous over here. Because y'all know I'm clumsy. Okay, so we got right around the corner. We got anything is possible. We got... Ooh, honey. Then we got racks to riches. <laughs> okay. And it was 111 when I just said that. Girl, this is beautiful. So something really good is about to happen to you. Like, it's like right around the corner. Um, whatever you've been trying to like manifest is getting ready to happen and don't think it cannot happen because anything is possible with God. So yeah, you getting ready to go from rags to riches. Like if you didn't have like money before, you're getting ready to have like a lot of money, um, coming into you. Like it's going to be consistent. You know what I mean? It's like literally right around the corner. All right. What else, Spirit? What else, what else, Spirit? This keep wanting to pop out up late at night. Well, I am up late at night doing this reading. Well, it ain't that late. It's only like 10, 11, something. It's not that late. Here, what else do you have for my beautiful divine feminines? Okay, this is a lot of cards. Can I get some clear messages? If I'm getting no messages from my this deck, I'm finna um I was gonna say I'm finna pull from the other one. So we got a lifestyle upgrade. This came out unlike my reading I did like maybe like a day ago. Lifestyle upgrade, and then we got standing your ground. So I feel like whatever you're going for, it's like you really feeling like you can do this shit now. You know what I'm saying? Your whole life is getting ready to change. It's like literally right around the corner. And this is for a lot of y'all, like, it's getting ready to happen. And it's all because you really got God with you. Like, anything is possible with God. Girl, as long as you got God, it's going to happen. Whatever God promised you, it's going to happen. And I feel like now you just, like, standing on, um, bruh. Didn't I just say, didn't I just say, I just seen 111 a while ago when I said that. And look at this. No one can stop you. And I got like 111 on the card. I just sat there and said like, no one can stop you. What is this? I'm just, honey, this is crazy. It's a lot of cards right here. This is crazy. And then we got, I'm nothing like him. <clears throat> That's on the bottom. But yeah, girl, like that is crazy. That's confirmation because like I said, a minute ago, I seen 111 and with that coming out, no one can stop you. Please believe that whatever you set your mind to, it's going to happen. Like do not second guess yourself about it. Because you know how sometimes we have like these big visions, right? Like, oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want this kind of car. Oh, I want to move here. But then we start letting, like, 444, when I just said that, we start letting, like, things get in our head. Like, oh, I don't make enough money. Or maybe I got to wait. Maybe I got to do this first. <clears throat> no. Do that shit. 
Nobody can stop you, especially when you got God on your side, girl. Nobody can stop you. All right, Spirit, what else do we have for my beautiful divine feminine? So we got walking alone. Right now, this is the journey that you're on. You are on a journey by yourself, which is not a bad thing. This is all about you right now. And it's time for you to like really just focus on yourself. Just you and God, you, you know, getting your sh together and really just manifesting your dreams. Like really, you know, doing what you want to do. Because it's like right around the corner. I feel like also God may have like had to get you by yourself for this blessing to come in. Because some people around you were not worthy of receiving this blessing with you. Look at this. No turning back. I'm telling you. You're not going back to... Um, you're not going back to your old lifestyle. It's going from, look, rags to riches, then no turning back. Anything is possible with God. You're not going back to that old lifestyle. I feel like some of you also um, have been getting new blessings or you're afraid that like when you do get this new blessing that, you know, you might lose it or like something might happen or you may not be able to maintain it. But do not worry because you're going to be able to maintain it. You're going to be able to afford it easily and effortlessly. You're not going to have to struggle for these blessings that you're getting ready to get. So we got, I cannot live without you. So it looks like some love going to pop out. I also feel like for some of y'all, like, that's how y'all feeling about your relationship with God. Like, you cannot live without God. I don't know how some people just be making it without even praying. You know what I'm saying? I pray all the time. You know what I mean? Because, girl, sometimes I got to pray for God to get my attitude together. <laughs> but, no, for real, like, you, you cannot live without God. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like some of y'all are now at that stage in your life where you're realizing that like you know what i might be walking on this journey alone but it's like me and god you know what i mean like i cannot live without god like i can't do this without god you know what i mean and as long as i got him then i know that i'm good hold on y'all this is a whole little section turned over right here but yeah So we got low expectations. So then I just tell y'all a minute ago, like some of you guys were feeling like, um, you know, if you get this new blessing that you're getting ready to get, or like this new lifestyle or whatever, like, oh, I don't know, like if I'm gonna be able to handle this, like don't think that, that's like thinking low. You know what I mean? That's like a low expectation of like what you want to manifest. Always think big, big. <laughs> okay, you need to be thinking big for real. Um, because that's what's going to bring bring this in even more quickly. Just knowing that you deserve it. You know what I mean? Don't have low expectations for yourself. So, yeah. Remember, anything is possible with God anything okay so we got over everything and everybody okay and that came right under standing your ground so this means that like for some of y'all, people were trying to tell you like you can't do it or you're thinking like 
too big or you're like trying to do too much you're moving too fast um you can't afford to live there you can't afford to drive that you need to wait you need to dip, 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 dip. just trying to put all of these blocks in your way all of this negative shit in your head okay and it's like now you're standing your ground you're like you know what i know what i want I'm over y'all, like, I'm over y'all trying to, like, stop me from doing what I'm trying to do. Like, I know what I want. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we got pressure bills, diamonds. Okay, honey? And that came right under no one can stop you. So, with that being said, about them, then, like I said, nobody is going to be able to stop you from doing what you're getting ready to do. Especially what you haven't got on your side. And... Everything that you went through, because I feel like you have probably went through some hard times in your life or just experienced some things that have, you know, formed you into the woman that you are today, basically, bitch. Like, <laughs> um, it's made you into, like, this beautiful woman, like, this, this beautiful energy that you exude. Like, all of that pressure was put on you for a reason. Because it's turning you into like a beautiful diamond. Like it was an 11-11 when I just said that. Um, so maybe you've been seeing 11-11. And some of y'all been seeing 111 a lot too. But yes, pressure builds diamonds. All of this pressure you've been under is for a reason. It's been for a reason. Everything you've experienced is happened for a reason. Your blessings are right around the corner. You're getting ready to go from rags to riches like from rags to riches, okay? And don't ever second guess yourself or have low expectations for your life. Always like know like what you deserve. Like you were born to be abundant. You know what I mean? You were born to, um, you know, like really just live a lifestyle of, of um, comfortability, but just of adventure too. Like you're, you were put here to do whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? To fulfill a purpose, not to just let things go by day to day and just, oh, I'm just going with the flow. You know what I mean? I'm just going to let whatever happened to my life happen to my life. Like, no, take control of your life. Know that you don't have to settle for things that you've settled for before. Stand your ground. Because I feel like a lot of you have been trying to like manifest like a lot of things like that have not maybe happened to people in your family before or it's just not something that you're used to. But you have a lifestyle upgrade that's waiting for you like... It don't even have to be like what everybody else would consider a lifestyle upgrade, but long as it's an upgrade for you. It's all about stepping stones in life. You know what I mean? I was just homeless like what? Two years ago, a year and a half. Uh, no, yeah, about two years ago. And I didn't move into the you know place I wanted to move into. Like, of course, I wanted to move into like this nice luxury you know fancy high-rise condo but i moved to where i moved to and you know it wasn't an upgrade to some people but it was an upgrade to me you get what i'm saying so it's all about where you are in life right now but wherever you are you're getting ready to upgrade it's right around the corner it's right around the corner so don't give up keep praying keep putting god first and yeah, this was a beautiful reading. This was a beautiful reading. That was what I got for you guys. If this resonated, make sure you guys comment down below. Like this video so we can get out there to more Divine Feminists. You know what I'm saying? So we can keep healing, glowing, and growing over here. And I will see you guys in my next one. I love you guys. God bless.